Hi everyone, welcome to Battlestar Collectica, the channel dedicated to the memorabilia and collectibles surrounding the Galactica universe. And before we dive into today's episode, I want to thank each and every one of you who has subscribed to the channel. There are over 20,000 active Star Wars channels on YouTube and very few that even mention classic Battlestar Galactica. So thank you so much for subscribing and watching. In today's episode, we are going to compare the 2005 12-inch 1-6 scale Cylon Centurion by Majestic Studios with that of its reissue in 2008 by Amok Time Toys. Now immediately you're going to notice that the Majestic Studios package is much larger than the Amok Time one. It comes in at 15 and a half inches tall when you compare it to the Amok Time box that comes in at 14 inches tall. So if you are someone who likes to display your toys in the package, you cannot fit the Majestic Studios one on a bookshelf, but you can easily fit the Amok Time Toys package on a bookshelf. Now the photos, graphics, and text used by both companies are similar, but really different, with the biggest difference being the cover of the display boxes. Majestic Studios chose to use an actual photo of a Cylon Centurion as their cover, while Mock Time Toys chose to use the actual action figure as their package cover shot. And there is a glaring mistake on the back of the Mock Time Toys package. And if you know what it is, please let me know in the comments below. Now, as to the action figures, they are practically identical. And that is where some of the controversy, especially concerning the Amok Time toy figure, comes from. Now, the Majestic Studios 12-inch Cylon Saturian that you see there on the left is a terrific looking figure with awesome accessories and a decent display stand. But he is a poorly engineered and flawed figure. And the problem is with the armor. Because of the way it was designed, he cannot hold a pose and I can remember being extremely frustrated when I first purchased him way back in 2005 and I think I actually broke his arm trying to get him to hold his weapon correctly. The other issue with the figure is that he is missing his chainmail skirt and his sword is undersized. Now when Amok Time Toys announced that they had acquired the license from Majestic Studios to continue the Battlestar Galactica line and the first product was going to be a reissue of the Cylon Centurion, we all got very excited. We really thought that they were going to fix the flaws in the original figure and they didn't. They had a great opportunity and they blew it. All the company did was reissue the exact same figure that Majestic Studios had issued a few years earlier. They did include a really nice die cast metal skirt for the figure, but it wasn't enough to make up for the poor posability and poorly designed armor. What's very sad is that Amok Time Toys did not listen to the complaints that they heard and they knew about concerning the original Majestic Studios figure, and it would have been so easy. I know it would have cost them money, but according to some customizers that I have talked to over the years, it would have been a slight modification to the armor parts that would have made this figure near perfect. As for scarcity and values, the Majestic Studios version of the Cylon Centurion is much easier to find today, but he still goes for between $150 and $200 in a decent package. The Amok Time toy version is valued much higher because of the die cast metal skirt and because he was produced in much lesser amounts. Expect to pay between two and $300 for him in a very nice box. I want to thank Majestic Studios as well as Amok Time Toys for producing these for us because even though they are flawed figures, we are very lucky to have them. So a big thank you to both companies. Please let me know in the comments below what you think of these figures. Do you own them? Have you modified them so they can be posed better? I really would like to know. Please subscribe to the channel. Give this episode a thumbs up. I will see you in the next episode. Have a great Galactica day, everyone.